we have already started bearing capacity of silo foundations under this topic we have already discussed design criteria factor affecting bearing capacity of silo foundations rankings analysis how this theory can be utilized to determine the minimum depth of foundations we have also discussed how the depth of foundations can be decided in different situations types of silo foundations silo foundation tip foundations under the heading silo foundations we have talked about a step footing a split footing a rock footing combined footing under the heading depth foundation deep foundations pile foundations pile foundations caisson which is also called as well foundation types of caissons open caissons box caisson pneumatic caissons caissons all these points we have already completed so in today lectures we have to talk about the the bearing capacity of soil that means say uh, how we can determine the bearing capacity of soils bearing capacity of soil can be determined by two ways one is called a theoretical methods or we can say theoretical equations or we can say using theoretical equations or the next one is the in situ methods as far as the theoretical methods are concerned in fifth semesters already we have discussed about the terzaghi theory by which we can determine the bearing capacity of soil that is ultimate bearing capacity of soil can be determined using the terzaghi formula qf is equal to cnc plus gamma d and q plus 0.5 gamma b and gamma now we shall go for the meyerhoff equations brinch hansen equation i scored methods as per the syllabus as far as the in situ method is concerned <clears throat> plate load test a standard penetration test one penetration test this all we have discussed under the chapter site investigations so as per the syllabus uh, we have to go for the which i told you earlier meyerhoff equations brinch hansen and i s code you can see that uh, the terzaghi theory is the backbone of all the theories based on the terzaghi as you know karl terzaghi is known as father of soil mechanics so based on karl terzaghi theory only theory other researchers have also developed the formula we shall equations mayer hops develop the equations for ultimate bearing capacity of soil for steep footing like terzaghi 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 also develop the equation for the steep footing mayer hop also develop the steep footing we shall see further what is the difference terzaghi while developing the equation for, uh, for the bearing capacity bearing capacity he considered the angle of shearing resistance that means the bearing capacity factors depends upon the angle of shearing resistance whereas meyerhoff considers other parameters that is the depth of foundations the shape of foundations as you know the shape of foundations may change rectangular circular squares right so what he said that this the shape can also influence the bearing capacity equation the roughness of footing can also influence the bearing capacity of foundations and based on this 
he developed the equation for ultimate bearing capacity qf is equal to cnc sc dc ic plus q n q sq dq iq plus 0.5 gamma bn gamma s gamma d gamma i, u, uh, I gamma you can see this equation is similar to terzaghi theory terzaghi equations but what is the what is the uh, what is the new things which have been incorporated in these equations that is sc dc ic that means shift factor depth factor and inclination factor load inclination factors with respect to cohesion with respect to surcharge with respect to density of swell so whenever we talk about the inclination factor load inclination factor that means what that means we can see that many structures are also going to experience the inclined load right so if the inclined load will be acting on the structure the bearing capacity of swell will also be different the its, its influence on the bearing capacity will also be different and in the equation you can see b you can refer the width Width means what? Whether the foundation is rectangular or the square or diameter if the foundation is circular. As I told you, the inclination factor I takes the account the effect of inclination of the load on bearing capacity. That means when the, the load on the structure is inclined, the bearing capacity will also be influenced. What is alpha? Alpha is a resultant load. When the inclined loads are acting on the structure, we can also find out the resultant load of the of, of the of the inclined loads. So, the alpha is the inclination of the resultant load with the particles. The the alpha can also be calculated using the equation tan inverse h by v h and v are the horizontal and vertical loads at the base of the. See, Mayerhoff's uh, bearing capacity factors can also be calculated using the following equations. N q is equal to 10 square 45 plus 5 by 2 into e to the power pi 10 phi. How we can find out the phi? Phi is the angle of shearing resistance, which we can find out using the triangular shear test operators or direct shear test operators. So, similarly, NC we can also find out by this formula. N gamma we can also find out by this formula. So, we can see here uh, one table has been given by the bear hops for different types of footing or we can see for the different situation how the values of the shape, depth and tension factors can be in uh, can be used uh, in the equations for example you can see sc sq and s gamma value you can take one for st footing sc can also be taken like 1 plus 0.2 b by l 10 square 45 plus 5 by 2 that means what b is b may be the we may be the diameter also Right, so B by L, but here B by L is nothing but it is the four rectangular footing. SQ and S gamma, you can see the formula, but in this case, if phi greater than equal to 10 degree, we can use this formula. If phi is zero, phi zero means what? That is the cohesive swell, purely cohesive swell. In that case, we can use this value one. DC, we can use. This formula 1 plus 0.25 d by b 10 square 45 plus 5 by 2 dq and d gamma we can use 1 plus 0.5 d by b 10 square this 10 square 45 degree plus 5 by 2 for phi if it is greater and equal to 10 degree but five if phi is 0 in that case we can take this value 1 similarly ic and iq we can calculate by this formula Alpha, as we have seen, alpha is nothing but it is the angle in between the resultant load with the vertical. I gamma we can calculate 1 minus alpha by phi when phi is greater than or equal to 10 degree. 
If i is 0, in that case we can take 1. Now we can, uh, how we, this is the next topic, how we can compare the, uh, the Meyerhoff's equation and Terzaghi analysis. Or we can say Meyerhoff analysis and Terzaghi analysis. What is the basic difference? Uh, we can see this equation. <coughs> We can see the, the diagram. Based on this diagram, you can see three zones are there. Zone 1, zone 2, zone 3. In Tarjaki equation, if you remember the, the figures of the Tarjaki, there are also three zones are there. In that case, how we are explaining the zones? Zone 1 is called elastic zone. Zone 2 is the radial shear zone. And zone 3 was ranking passive zone. But here, zone 3 is going to change. That is a mixed shear zone. Right? Elastic zone, radial shear zone, and mixed shear zone. You can see the, this figure. This figure includes the diagram of both the Analysis. Both the analysis means what? Terzaghi analysis as well as the Meyerhoff analysis. On the left side, left hand side of the figure, you can see here zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 is also there. But the failure line extends only up to the base of the footing. Whereas, in, you can see on the right hand side, the failure zones extends up to the ground surface. This is the major difference. And you can see here, this alpha, if you are going to extend this line, this alpha will be equal to psi. So, how we can compare? Zone 1 is the elastic zone, which is inclined, psi is equal to pi. This, this the things we have already seen at, at the time of discussing about the Tajagi theory. Where in case of mayor hops, this psi is equal to 45 plus 5 by 2. This is the this is also one of the difference. <coughs> zone 2 is called a radial shear zone with one set of radial planes radiating from corner of the footing, as in case of Terzaghi analysis. Zone 3 is a mixed shear zone in case of Meyerhoff's equations, which extends up to the ground surface. So, what I would like to tell you that where hops assume that the failure zones extends above the base of the footing, whereas in Tarzaki, in case of Tarzaki and this is the failure zones extends only up to the base of the footing, not above the base of the footing. That, that is the major difference. You can also see here Tarzaki rejected the values of shearing resistance above the base of the footing. What he has taken? He has taken only the values of gamma t, that is the weight of surcharge. Right? Whereas, in case of Meyerhoff's theory, the bearing capacity factors depends upon the four parameters. Angle of shearing resistance, shape of footing, depth of footing, and the roughness of the base of the footing. And we have already discussed that the Tajagi analysis bearing capacity factor depends upon only phi. Whereas the next one you can also see the Meyerhoff's equation can be utilized for the shallow foundation as well as for deep foundations. Whereas Tajagi theory can be used only for this.